Hello folks and welcome to the Tuesday Thought on Wednesday. I'm outside because uh, fall is absolutely a season that inspires all of our senses and touches all of them. And it is one of those seasons that it is inescapable that God is with us. And so I'm outside and I wanted to uh, show you a couple of things uh, that I've been thinking about. I'm looking at this tree, but I'm looking at all of the trees, really. And these leaves on the ground. You know, you can take one of these leaves. You can take one of these leaves and you see those veins on them. Okay. And you can actually use this as a labyrinth a finger labyrinth and trace the veins of this leaf up to the main the main stem and then off to the side and back and then up a little further and off the uh, shoot of the main stem and then back so every leaf that you find you can use as a spiritual practice i've also been thinking of course about what happens to the leaves when they fall and the miracle, the miracle of God's creation and the way that God set things up. So this tree is going to bring forth new leaves in the spring, which will grow in the summer. And then which like these will eventually die in the fall. And they'll fall to the ground and um, we're probably going to clean these up, but out in nature, uh, the leaves that fall become soil and nourish the tree, the tree that gave them life. And every year, new leaves that are different and distinct grow on the same tree. And as this is the week that we will celebrate All Saints Day, it had me thinking about St. Mary's as a tree trunk and that we are all leaves of St. Mary's. That we'll have our time here and then that time will pass. But hopefully our life and our passing will be fertilizer for the next group of leaves that come into our church. It got me thinking in the same way about our family trees and that the generations over time, new leaves and new people are born into our family tree. And they're here for a while and then they pass. But the legacy and the enrichment that each of us bring to our families helps to nourish that family tree. And also to allow it to change and grow. And it also got me thinking about Christ and that, this is a better view, and that um, we all come from the tree of Christ, and especially on All Saints Day, and, all, and the week that we celebrate All Saints, this idea that we are all connected to the communion of saints, to one another, and that God does something very interesting with time. That, that we don't even totally know about. But each of us has been nourished by those that come before in our lives, in the life of this church, in the life of the church. And hopefully our lives will be full, will touch others, will help others to grow. And in, in our passing, we become soil for the next crop of leaves to grow off of these trees. Amen.